Hey, what's going on everybody? So the other day I was um, browsing around on Banggood. Uh, I had got an email from them with their regular advertisements, you know. But they were um, they were having a really good sale on quite a different amount of uh, multi-rotor parts and accessories. So I was browsing through and I came across some motors. Uh, they have a relatively new brand on Banggood right now called Racer Star. And they were on a really good sale that day. Um, I believe I paid like six dollars and forty-five cents per motor on that, so I went ahead and, and bought five, thinking that uh, I could swap out the 1806 motors that I have on my ZMR 250. Probably um, put those onto this trifecta that I picked up a little while ago, and uh, upgrade the motors there on the ZMR to some 2205s. So I picked up five of them, and I just wanted to, to show these off real quickly here. Um, so far, I mean, they're relatively new. They've got a few reviews out there, other people on YouTube, and, and the reviews on Banggood. And people seem pretty happy with them. So I uh, figured we'd just open one up here and give you a, a close-up look at, at what's going on with these Racer Star motors. So uh, all the boxes, relatively nondescript boxes here. Um, four out of my five came with little QC labels, so uh, I figure let's open up the one that did not have a QC label on it and uh, see what we got. Make sure it's the right one. So um, they do, you know, have stickers on there. What you're getting, supposedly, what's in the box. Uh, let everybody read that real quick if you want to pause it. Uh, Barca. I haven't tried this one. Probably just takes you back to the Banggood listing for this Racer Star motor. So that's that's how it comes. All right. So the motor is in bubble wrap. Okay. Nothing else in the box. Do the bubble wrap, and you get a motor in a bag with another bag some screws in it. So let's see how we're doing here. Oops. Okay, so we have the motor. Set that aside for right now. And here's your little bag of parts. So these are available in two different styles, clockwise and counterclockwise. I purchased five of the clockwise and those are given to you with a red nylock nut. Okay. And in this bag, looks like we also have eight motor screws. And they are two different lengths. I'll grab the calipers and we'll measure those out real quick. As far as the lock nut goes, does have a little nylon insert? Oh, excuse me, sorry. And um, so again, the red ones indicate a clockwise thread. Uh, the black tops or the black nut would have been for the counterclockwise. They sell them. You know, you can get packs of four with you know two clockwise, two counterclockwise. They also sell them individually, so you can order them just as a replacement motor for the one that you may have had damaged or um, stopped working for some reason. So we'll just verify here. Yep, that is clockwise. So, here's the label. BR2205, 2300KV. It is clockwise. Made in China. It says Racing Edition. And so the arrows indicate the direction you want the motor to spin. And those are correct on both the screen printing on the top and the sticker on the side. Um, if you wanted to make these self-tightening with the lock nut, it doesn't really matter. But if uh, if these didn't come with a lock nut and you just had a regular like the the cone cap, then this would be uh, you would want these to be wired up and spinning in a counterclockwise direction, which is indicated by the arrow. So those are, that's that's correct in this case. Um, here's your motor wires. They are silicone motor wires. The they do come pre-tinned. Probably want to cut that off and put your own solder on there. You're not sure. 
this is uh, leaded or not. But uh, it is silicone wiring. Um, you get uh, about a finger's le finger length of wiring there. Uh, you can see it looks rather chunky. The bottom here is recessed, so it doesn't matter if you have a hole in your arm or not. And it looks like there's, there's a little little brass bushing under there, underneath the E-clip, holding it on. Uh, out of the box, there's no no end play, no give in here. It's nice and tight. Uh, feels smooth. No no grittiness, no grinding. A little bit of notchiness from the magnets. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see down in there. Okay, there you can see some magnets right there. So, try to get some good light there. There you go. So I don't know. That looks that looks relatively close. Not a huge gap between the stator and the magnets. So that looks pretty good. 29 grams. So. Um, you know, some people will mount them with two screws, some with four. Um, so it's going to be up to you uh, how much that final weight is on your quad. But the motor itself, 28 grams. So that's that's not bad. So these are 2205s. Uh, I don't have a thrust stand or anything here to, to give you thrust numbers. I just wanted to quickly show you guys the motors. Um, I have some other motors here that we can compare the sizing to. Because the other motors I've ever had, um, you know, didn't look this chunky. They didn't have a solid top. I don't know if this is going to provide extra cooling or not. It doesn't say anything about that it does cooling. Um, I don't know. I think it looks cool, though. I mean, it's good screen printing on there. Everything is nice and crisp. No blurring, smearing. Um, but anyway, so these are 2205s. We can uh, compare them to some other other motors I have sitting around here. So we have a 2204 Sunny Sky, 2205 Racer Star, and then some 2206 RC in power motors. So both the RC in power and the Racer Star have a recessed bottom, whereas the Sunny Skies have that shaft sticking through. So you had to have a hole machined into your arm when you mount it. Most of them do, but uh, occasionally there's people out there who have the arms that don't. Alright. So it's a little hard to see there with the sunny sky not wanting to sit up straight, but you get an idea of how how they compare overall size-wise. This is, again, this is a 2206, 2205, 2204. So the diameter of the stator is all the same, but the thickness of it should be one mil different. So I'll give you one last look here at the trying to get the quality of the windings showing up in there. It's a little hard to see with all the solid top, but Trying to get some good light. And uh, like I said, when I purchased them, they were on a sale. So it was like $6.50 right now. You look them up on Banggood. And they are at $7.62. And that's for the 2300 KV edition. Uh, let's see if they have a price listing for the for the other ones. Um, yeah, 2600 KV, All right? And this this listing happens to be for a four pack. Oh yeah, one last thing. We're gonna check the hardware that came with it. So if we look at the longer screws, get seven and a half mil on that one that's quite a long screw or the short ones 
come out at five and a half. So that was the hardware that comes with it. You get four of each, so depending on what kind of frame you're running, three or four millimeter arms. So anyway, thanks for watching. Again, these were the Racer Star BR2205 2300 KV motors. We got these at Banggood. If you have any other questions, anything you'd like to see me uh, answer about these, or anything else for quadcopters that matter, if, um, for that matter, I will definitely try to answer your questions. Just leave them in the comments below. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Thanks.